Hello and welcome to episode 100 of Energy and Star Sign Readings. Wow! So you, one of you, one of you, can win a freebie. And um, there's a couple of things you can choose from. And here's how you go all about this. What you need to do is watch the video before this one, which is called the 100th episode giveaway video. And it'll tell you how to claim it, as you need to write things down in the comments of the video before this one. And then when you watch the video, which is about 10 minutes long, um, it'll show you a few of the modalities that do, so you have a better idea what they actually do before you then decide uh, which one you like, should you be the winner, right? So yeah, there is a giveaway for one of you, um, because that's how we roll. Anyway, we are looking at the week of March the 29th to April the 4th, um, which is actually Easter Sunday this year. Yay! <laughs> and um, we're in the star sign of Aries, so that will be the first star sign we will be looking at. But before we do this, as usual, we look at the overall energy for the week ahead. As mentioned, we're talking about the week of March the 29th to April the 4th, 2021. Let's have a look what the overall energy for the week ahead tells us. We have the Twin Gods and the Falcon. In short, what the, what the guides are saying to us, you're not alone. There's guides around us at every turn, so should you ever feel isolated or alone, you really are not alone. There's a lot of support, even though you might not necessarily see it, it's all there. And you have the Falcon, which is the symbolism um, that, you know, things will come your way, when they're ready and you will see them coming as they become ready. So in other words, the overall energy for the week ahead tells us that let's not give in to um, depression if possible. Let's not give in to feeling it's me against the world, I'm, I'm all alone, right? Because what the universe is trying to tell you is um, regardless of what's going on in this world, you know, we got you. Right? Really, really important. And then new opportunities will come to you as they arise. So don't chase anything. Don't um, be pushy, if that makes sense. You know, they're not necessarily asking you to just sit back and do nothing. Um, at least that's not the overall energy. But it is more about um, realizing, have a, little, have a little faith and things will come your way when they're ready. I'm sure this will be reflected in the... Um, in the star signs as we go through them, right? So that was the overall energy for the week of March the 29th to April the 4th, 2021. Now we're going on to the very first star sign, which is Aries. Let's have a look at Aries. Mm. Okay, it feels a bit it's not it doesn't feel super heavy but it feels like it's it has been long overdue because you have the tp and the medicine wheel what they're saying to you is look at your home how is the energy in your home and that does just mean look at the people you live with should you live with other people but also how do you feel in your home is this a welcoming place is this a place where you feel yeah this is my this is my sanctuary this is my safe haven right and then turn it into your safe haven there's uh, a lot of ways to cleanse your house cheapest <laughs> is still white sage just go through all the rooms is white sage <coughs> to hire the energy a little Really, really important because next to the TP, which represents your home, you have the medicine wheel. And what they're trying to say to you, if you're not comfortable and happy at home, where can you be? Right. So if you are a person that feels like I'm a, I'm a touch stuck at the moment, right, and it might not be solvable at this point in time, then 
that's just basically the guide saying, you know, manifest, you know, and trust things will get better. Because remember, the Open Energy tells us um, that when things are ready, they will come. So again, I have the feeling this is about um, for the star sign so far, it means our first star sign, but the Open Energy and that star sign really feels about not allowing the feeling of despair, this despair, despair, <laughs> can't, can't talk, um, to come in and to ruin your life, right? So that's that for Aries, okay? So please have a look at your home and reflect how happy you are as it could easily <coughs> affect your energy, okay? That was Aries going into Taurus. And like I said, we're looking at the week of March the 29th to April the 4th, which is Easter Sunday, um, 2021. You have the beaver and the turkey. What they're saying to... Um, Taurians this week is you have the symbology of the builder of the dam which means you will always be there for others you will always help others you will always be the person that is trying to keep everybody safe right and it feels to me that they're sort of saying it because this sort of is in your DNA you are a good person you are the person that people find when they need to um you know, uh, get stuff off their chest. You just need to make sure that um, you learn how to protect yourself, detach yourself a little from all the issues that are not yours, if that makes sense, because the next animal guide that you have here is the turkey. And that animal is a bit like, like the ferret. These two have the same um, message, if that makes sense, and energy at times. Um, what they're saying is, you are the person that is trying to keep everybody happy and yet sometimes you give advice that people are not ready to hear yet, right? So you might feel misunderstood, you know, it's like, how often do I have to say that? <laughs> and all the guides say, you don't have to say that at all. That doesn't mean that you choose your battles, one of the word, Torians. This just means that sometimes you need to realize, you know, you can only do so much. And if people don't want to listen, or for whatever reason are incapable of hearing your advice, then um, don't hold their hand on the way down. You know, people have to learn their own lessons, if that makes sense, and you're not there to save any, anyone or everybody, if that makes sense. And all the guides are saying to you this week, bear that in mind as you go about your business. There's only so much you can do. Make sure you have some time just for yourself um, some time to, to be a bit more within you to recharge your batteries. Okay, that was Taurus going into Gemini. Okay, for Gemini, you have the ancestor of illusion and the hunter of gifts. What that means is that some things in your life, you need to look at them as they play out to you. Um, and you will realize when you look at your life as it is at this point in time, some of the things you had hoped for aren't really happening. Some of the things you may have wished for might not be as forthcoming. So some of the things you maybe hold on to, which is why, the, why you have this, the word illusion here, um, may never really fulfill you, if that makes sense, right? And the guides are not blaming anyone. This could have a million and one reasons as to why this is. All the guides are saying is, look at things, look beyond the illusion of trying to make things work, trying to get things that you maybe even manifested because you have the hunter of gifts. Which means what the guides advise you to focus on, Geminis, at this point in time, is not only to look after yourself, but to assess who you are, what is it I want to do with my life, and then go for, go for it and see if you can achieve some of the things you always wanted to do. So this might very likely be because it feels like it um, um, education based. So maybe 
you ought to put the work into somewhere to be qualified and then do something with that if, if that makes sense right but you have the hunter of gifts which means um you really need to have an assessment need to look at yourself what is it i want out of life regardless of the situations i'm in and then ask the guides for help um, to get there right that was gemini going into cancerians let's have a look what we got for cancer we're looking at the week of march the 29th to april the 4th 2021 and cancerians you have the the puma and the parrot in short what it really means is that you are maybe not exactly where you wish to be at this point in time but remember that you can adapt quite well you also bring a lot of patience to the table whether or not you realize it so you can hmm, work through things even though you feel you're not in the right place if that makes sense right so all they're saying to you is remember that you might not be a hundred percent where you want to be where you wish you want to be and where you are planning to go right but don't be again this word despair comes in again don't be discouraged by the lack of opportunities right now and by feeling a bit um well yeah detached because you have the puma right and the puma is oftentimes also called a mountain lion depending on where he is so you are being that can be described in different ways um, and people sometimes see you differently to how you assess yourself so stay with yourself because you have the parrot it's also important to realize that you know just because your energy is a little lower at the moment just because you feel you're not a hundred percent and you're not as strong Right? Should you feel that? Um, sounds weird, but take no notice. Right? The, the symbology of the parrot is that obviously it's one of those birds, you know, birds by default, uh, with regards to evolution, they all became much smaller than they were, and so they have really tiny skulls and therefore tinier brains than their ancestors often had, and yet, uh, especially parrots, uh, that's the animal guide that is here, um, they're very intelligent right so sometimes you hear people say oh they always say the same thing la, 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 la. that's not how the parrot defines itself or himself or herself but remember even though you may feel smaller at the moment and maybe less appreciated um your faculties still work and what the guides are asking you therefore is to refocus on where you want to go in life now you have heard this before with other star signs so we have overlapping energy um, again quite a bit and remember the overall energy cancerians where they said to you you are not alone we got your back so this is a week for cancerians to really huh, remember your spiritual core and maybe do meditation get in touch with your guides again you know reconnect um, to that strength and to that bond that you have with the universe okay that was Cancerians going into Leo. Leo. <laughs> you have the white tail deer and the chipmunk. The message for Leos this week is to be as calm and as detached as you possibly can be and just let the world pass you by and observe. Have a week of not being bothered by so many things have a week to kind of feel like you know what this can all wait right energetically speaking at least i know that there might be things in your life um, where you have no choice um, but to react otherwise there will probably be consequences the point the guides are making is it is how you react to them that can cause the stress to go through the roof so if you detach yourself detach yourself and um deal with things in a, in a very calm manner and say like okay well i do what i need to do but other than that i just let the world pass me by and enjoy the week on this beautiful planet right short and sweet for leo going into virgos we're looking at the week of march 29th 
to April the 4th, 2021, which just happened to be, happens to be um, Easter Sunday. And Virgos, you have the owl and the totem. So what the guides are saying to you is reflect, right, the owl looking around, reflect on what your family life, your upbringing, this is not about the family you may have created. Um, that doesn't mean you, 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 you shouldn't look there, but this is a week for um, Virgos to get rid of darkness, get rid of that still affects me from back in the day, right? So reflect on what wasn't so great in your childhood to let that go. And or maybe look at really positive memories and reach out to the people you had them with if possible. Really, really important because you have obviously the totem, totem, right? Which is another term for family, also a term for tribe. But it's really about guardianship. And um, the idea here is that as you reflect on the on your life as it happened to you when you came here, so to speak, your upbringing really, um, and see, has this caused any issues into how I turned out? Is there something there that people said to me that still holds me back? That kind of thinking. And then, um, you know, let it all go, if possible. And also, remember that your family is your kin. And so, um, to a large extent, we need family members um, for quite some specific reasons, oftentimes. And so the reflection, therefore, goes a little deeper when you actually look at them because you feel why they're from my bloodline, right? So there must be a reason why they're all here, if that makes sense. And sometimes that's the case and sometimes it isn't, if that makes sense. Um, but... But long story short for Virgos, look and reflect on your upbringing and see where things still sit that probably aren't, um, that haven't been dealt with properly, that aren't, that haven't been released, right? That was that for Virgo. <clears throat> Going into Libra. Librans. <laughs> Sounds easier said than done, as it always does, because you have the dog and you have all animal deities that there are. What the guides are therefore saying to you, Libras, Librans, this week is a week where you should be loyal to yourself only. How do I think about this? What do I feel about this? Where am I in all this? Right? Make yourself a priority this week and be loyal to yourself. And as you properly then make changes about your life, you are surrounded by guides who help you as you go through possibly transformation, because that's what I'm getting for Libras. That doesn't mean um, it has to be difficult. It's just, you know, if there is anything to devote your time to, why not devote it to yourself? That's what the guides are saying to you. Is be loyal to yourself and um, reflect on how much other people and other situations let you be yourself. Okay? That was Libras going into Scorpios. We're looking at the week of March the 29th to April the 4th. This is episode 100. Um, if you watch the video before this one and read the description of the video before this one. Um, you can find out how to win um, a giveaway, right? That obviously is not just for, for Scorpio, but I wanted to mention it every now and then here, right? Um, yeah, so that's that. So let's have a look at what we got for Scorpios. There's more reflection. We had that just now with, with Libra. You have the polar bear and the barn owl. So the polar bear of all bears is the most vulnerable. And the barn owl is basically the animal that 
that says I can draw an auditory map so I can catch the mouse without being caught in the undergrowth. Therefore, detach yourself and pay attention to where your trauma came from or comes from. Right? So again, while they're not asking you, just as they did with Libra just now, um, to look at your upbringing, they're asking you to look at your life as it is right now and as it has been, should there still be some things that you carry with you that aren't really helping you, if that makes sense. So reflection is the key this week for Scorpios. What I'm getting with at the moment for Scorpios as, a, as an image is a gratitude journal. So if you have a gratitude journal um, or just a piece of paper and you write down three things you're come on three three things you're you are um, grateful for um, that will start finding feeling appreciated much easier if that makes sense right so so the gratitude journal um, they show that to me right now for Scorpio okay and that's all there is for Scorpio going into Sagittarius Let's have a look what we got for Sagittarius. Quite good energy for Sagittarians because you have the spirit of healing and you have the dancer of friendship. So what that means is right now, just like so many before you here, apparently, um, you're going through quite a bit of healing, whether or not you're aware. In your case, really. So Therefore, because you're going through healing, the next thing that you have is a dancer of friendship. So make sure as you are going through possible upheaval, possible release, um, or maybe you are in the middle of, of a healing response, which was used to call healing crisis because it feels like it. Um, be your best friend as you go to uh, and through your, your, your issues that, that you that you have and that you're healing from. Um, so under no circumstances should you badmouth yourself. Under no circumstances should you should you say it must all be my fault. You know, just all me, you know, I'm the idiot of the block, right? I don't do anything right, that kind of thing. Um, don't even go there. Be your best friend, right? And um, and if you are someone's best friend, then transfer the energy that you give to others to yourself, right? So short and sweet for Sagittarians. Now we have three star signs left, which are Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. We are looking at the week of March the 29th to April the 4th, um, which happens to be Easter Sunday. I said that a couple of times here. And now we're going into Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. This is Capricorn. Okay. The first thing I'm getting for, for Capricorn before we go into the animals is to get in touch with your heart chakra because you have two animals starting with F and normally um, I don't pay any attention to it. I just want to know which, which animal guides you have. But the F really hit me. And because F is the, um, the, the note um, of your heart chakra, uh, sorry, the... <laughs> The, um, well, the, the letter of uh, your heart. No, sorry, I was right. The, the musical note is F. <laughs> Not with it, sorry. For your heart chakra. Um, pay attention to your heart chakra this week. Really, really important, especially here where the sternum sits, which is where rejection sits. Mm, my feeling is that you should um, look into vibrational things. You know, that could be that you play... Um, healing music on, on YouTube that you maybe even go and you find your, your F and then use that sound and, and prolong it and, and really hum into your uh, heart chakra. That's what I'm getting a lot before we go into the animal guides. Um, because you have the fox and the frog. The fox tells you you're an old soul and you have survived all the hardship that you've ever been in, right? You're still here. <laughs> so what they're saying to you is, look at how hardy you are. 
Look at how much you have already achieved in life, right? So don't be uh, frightened of anything. Just trust that whatever it is you're going through, you will get out the other end. Because you have the frog as well. The frog is an amphibian. You can live on land and on water. What they're saying to you is, whatever it is you're going through, right? You will manage. You will just be fine. But please, please, please pay attention to your your heart chakra, maybe surround yourself with the color green, which is the color for uh, that chakra. You know, um, be aware of, of your heart chakra. That's what I'm getting strongly for, for Capricorns, right? So, that was that. Now we have uh, Aquarius and Pisces left. Going into Aquarius. Hmm. Aquarius, you have the sparrow hawk and the turtle. What they're saying to you this week, go with the flow. No matter what's happening in your life, just pull the brakes and go with the flow. Don't fight anything, don't chase anyone or anything. Um, don't be pushy and don't be pushed, right? Um, just go with the flow because that's what the hawk, the hawk does. He uses the upthrust of the air to glide. Therefore, the message becomes um, go with the flow. Um, and um, you have the turtle as well as your outgoing an, uh, animal guide. And therefore, while you just float, we all float, don't you? <laughs> while you just glide, for one of them, not float, but glide, while your energy is, is, is just gliding, um, the turtle basically tells you, you know, not everything has to be done right now. You know, you've heard this before, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, I don't think anything was built in a day, but anyway, it's just it's just a phrase, <laughs> you know, aquariums. And um, so what they're saying to you is this week, please, please go with the flow. Really important, go with the flow. And not everything has to be solved in one go. And, um, you know, so take things slowly, right? That was Aquarius going into the last star sign for the week ahead. We're looking at the week of March the 29th to April the 3rd. Sorry, April the 4th. Sorry, <laughs> April the 4th, um, which is uh, Easter Sunday. Um, and here is the last star sign of the week, Pisces, which is also my star sign. And we have the Coyote and the Polar Bear. We had the Polar Bear in another star sign earlier, which is uh, basically the animal that is, um, of all the bears, the most vulnerable. And yet, you wouldn't mess with a Polar Bear because the Polar Bear also like all bears do, stands for peace, stands for power, stands for wisdom, right? Because white is the color of purity, therefore you have wisdom. If that makes sense, so there's a little symbolism here. And um, so what the guides are saying is, even though as Pisces, as Pisceans, um, we, you and I, mm, us, Pisceans, we may feel a little bit... Um, um, vulnerable at the moment, right? But we're also powerful and wise. Therefore, whatever comes our way, instead of being um, overly harsh with things and maybe a bit uh, in your face, just step back a little from everything rather than um, fighting things, if that makes sense, right? Um, and then we have the coyote, which is basically a scavenger, um, which means while you're going through um, a, a lot of healing and maybe have to find your power within um, and find your strengths again, if that makes sense, um, the coyote tells you, you know, um, I will always find food. Right? So the coyote is sort of a totem for, for good fortune, if you want, for, for knowing that there's always going to be enough uh, to go around. So what they're saying to us Pisceans is... <clears throat> <clears throat> while we're going through quite a bit of healing and maybe not quite sure what's going where and how to deal with it all, um, just trust that things will continue one way or other and that we're all being looked after. Right? So that's all we got. Remember, this is episode 100, and if you want to be, win um, a free giveaway, which is a, a reading or a TV reading or a rune divination, 
all that kind of stuff watch the video before this one and read the description of the video before this one so that you know where to put um which one you want to win and i can then pick you from the comments but they're not the comments under this video they have to be under the video before this one right anyway that's all we got time for thank you so much and i see you all very soon bye bye